Welcome everybody, my name is Scott and in this video I want to share with you a tool that I use in my day-to-day -day job called Plop. Uh, so Plop is a tool I find extremely useful and if you're not familiar, Plop is a micro generator framework that can be used for generating new files in a consistent manner using templates you define. This simple tool gives you a way to generate code or any type of file by running a simple console command. And so this is all done via configuration plop file that's written in JavaScript, where you specify the commands for the various generators that you want to create. Once you do this, you just need to create your template files, which are written in handlebars. And once you do this, you just run plop. You'll be prompted for to answer a few questions based on your configuration you provide. And you might be wondering how this might be helpful and so just as a concrete example is over the past year and a half or so, I've been assigned to work on a few uh, Vue.js web applications. And one of the common tasks I'd often run into is I need to create a new component. And normally this would be a simple task uh, in something that can be quite repetitive if you have to do it a bunch of times. Um, so for example, if I need to create a new feature or a new web application from scratch, generally you want to try to componentize as much as you can so it's reusable and it just becomes very repetitive. Um, as an example, I need to create three files uh, for the component, a view file, a CSS file, and a TypeScript file. If I'm doing integration testing, I have to create a storybook file for that. And then also for unit tests, uh, so I have to create a spec file. And so that's five files and, you know, for the most part, I can get away with just copy and pasting from one component to the next. Uh, but then I have to spend time renaming the files, fixing references in the files. And, you know, overall, it's only a couple minutes. It can be relatively quick. But the, the, the key thing is, is over time, I spend a bunch of time doing this. And generally, if you look to automate such tasks, it's going to save you time in the long run and you become much more efficient. And so this is where plot comes in is instead of me having to do all of these steps above every time I want to create one new component in my project, I can just create my template files, run the plop command, enter a few inputs such as what is the name of my component, and then plop will create all the files for me. It will give it the correct file extension, the file names, correct class names, etc. Uh, so besides that, there's some other uh, benefits for plop. Uh, one great example is it's uh, you can commit your templates and the configuration file to your code repository, your code base, and it allow other people on your team to also utilize that tool. It'll help the team generate the same set of files every time. Um, and basically, you just need to install that one dependency and they can run plop and they can generate their files. Uh, lastly, uh, even though plop is written in JavaScript, uh, the tool can be used for generating any type of file because the template files are written in handlebars. Uh, so you can use it to create like a full microservice, I create shell files, bash scripts, uh, a suite of integration tests, or just even like a simple file like a readme or a text. Uh, if you get some time, I highly recommend that you check out this tool if you haven't seen it before. Uh, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you a quick example of how we can use the tool to uh, generate a set of files. All right, so for a quick example, uh, what I have here in this uh, GitHub repository is it's just a basic plop example. Uh, basically, it already has the plop configuration file uh, with one set of templates for generating a, a, a view component. Uh, so similar to the example I gave, uh, just a more uh, simplified uh, version. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my IDE so I can just kind of walk through some of these files and just give a quick demo. Uh, so here, uh, what we're looking at is the plop file.js. So this is the configuration file that I mentioned. And uh, basically in the configuration file, uh, what you need to do is basically create a generator. And your generator is uh, what's going to be used to generate the output that you're looking for. And so in your configuration file, you can specify multiple generators for your project. So, um, you know, as an example, let's say if I need to create uh, one for this component, I create a generator for this uh, versus maybe I'm creating documentation. I could have a documentation generator. And what that would allow you to do is you can provide a different set of prompts. So these are all questions. It uses inquire under the hood. Uh, so there's going to be a set of questions that will be prompted to the user to provide these inputs. And then you can use those inputs inside your generator when you're generating your files. 
And so uh, you can imagine you might have different types of questions depending on what's being created. Uh, once you prompt for your required data, uh, you can then have a set of actions that will run on top of those uh, questions. Um, and so you can uh, basically create a set of files, create a single file. Uh, you can have custom actions to do uh, specific things, like if you need to modify the input, for example. Uh, so uh, as an example, what I'm doing is I'm prompting the user for a file name, and then I'm running a custom action called create component name. And uh, basically, I'm just taking the file name and transforming it um, into having capital letters uh, between each of the words so that way the component name will match will be used for my class name basically once all that's done you just specify your built-in actions mine's add many because for my components i have multiple types of files uh, so as an example if i go to my template under component you'll see there's three files i want to generate a css file typescript and view um, and by using the add many, Plop will then go ahead and create all of those files in this directory that I specify. And then finally, your destination is where you want your files to be uh, put and created. Uh, so if I just go ahead, I'm going to my component files real quick. Uh, so as I mentioned, these are written in handlebars. Uh, so basically, uh, the mustaches here allow you to inject um variables and have it get populated by your generator uh, so you'll see here like the file name will be part of my file that gets created it's also used in like my css class here my typescript file uh, so like component name so this is the example where i was taking the file name and modifying it so that gets injected and then like the view component uh similar thing like i'm injecting that class name based on the file name that's uh, provided so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, give a quick example. So I'm going to run yarn plop. And so you'll see it's prompting for file name. And so if I just come back to my configuration, you'll see here it ran my uh, component uh, generator. And my prompt is a type of input. So I'm asking the user to provide something. And this will be the variable name it gets set to. And then this is the message that comes into the console to uh, to the user. So I could say, instead of following, say, please, please input the name of the component or whatever you want that to be. So what I'm going to do is just going to call this test-component. What it'll do then is, because that's the only uh, uh, prompt, it'll switch to my actions and start uh, uh, running as necessary. Uh, so you see my component uh, was created for creating my component name. So it ran through my code here successfully. And then it went ahead and created three new files. Uh, so I should have a components directory now with a test component. So if I go ahead and Minimize that real quick. Let's come back to my files folder. All right, so you'll see that we have this uh, under my source folder, there's a components folder, and then my test component. So I took my file name to create my directory, and then went ahead and created my three files, and it injected all of the variables uh, that were part of my handlers template. Uh, so this is just a small example of what you can do with Plop. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this content interesting and helpful. If you did enjoy the content, please give it a like, a subscribe, or leave a comment down below. If you have questions or ideas for future content, please let me know, and I will talk to you all later.